G'day you viewers. Well, it's come again. Technology's changing so fast we can hardly keep up with it. Trinity Broadcasting is announcing that uh, on the September the 1st, 2014, they're going to stop broadcasting on an old transponder and they're going to a new transponder that requires a compliant set-top box. What they're wanting is to reach the next generation on smartphones and tablets and different formats and they've got to change from MPEG-2 which is a, a very uh, good quality video format but, but it took up too much bandwidth and they're moving it to MPEG-4 so if you've got one of these older uh, set-top boxes on that side uh, you, you're going to be out of luck because you won't be able to get any of the TBN channels, Church Channel, Smile of a Child, JCTV, now called Juice TV, uh, or Church Channel, uh, the Trinity. You can't get their channels on these boxes. But you will be able to get them on your box if it's got DVB-S on it, if it's a model that takes MPEG-4 um, videos. So. I'm going to tell you in this video how you determine whether yours is a compliant model or not. First of all, if you can find your box that it came in, the original box, and if it's just got DVB on it, it's not going to work for you. You need to see on the box somewhere DVBS. There it is there, DVBS. Here it is here, DVBS. That'll be compliant with MPEG-4. Um, if you can't find your box, have a look on your unit itself. Does it have DVB or DVBS? Uh, and that's one way you can tell if it's going to be compliant. If it's not compliant, you either you've got two choices. You can keep it and just have the channels that it comes down with. God TV, Daystar will be there. Three ABN will be there. Hope Channel will be there. But you won't have Trinity. You won't have Smile of a Child, Juice, you won't have the Youth Channel, you won't have Church Channel. Or, you can upgrade, you can get one of these little fellas for $120 from Access Antennas in, off the web, uh, and they'll send it to you pre-tuned and you just swap them over. 120 bucks and you're into MPEG-4. Or you can contact TBN and they'll sell you another set up box that's got programs on it and things like that but I think that'll probably be a lot more than $120 so be careful you might end up in a contract you don't really want to be in it should be free to air so get a $120 unit and, and Bob's your uncle you're back in business so I'm sorry uh, all these old ones won't be compliant unless it's got DVBS on it somewhere and I'll show you how to also test it if you still can't work it out I'll show you on the on the screen how to try out to see if your old one will bring down the new channels in just a moment right if you look at your little set top box here's an old yes box on the front down here you can see CDVB 2500 that DVB means it's not going to be compliant for MPEG-4 it's also over here on this side DVB in a funny little symbol. That means it's only going to take MPEG-2 videos and will not get Trinity Broadcasting through when we try to put a new transponder in there, which we're going to do in a minute. So look at your box. If it's just got DVB and not DVB-S, you've got the wrong box. Now, if you still don't know if your set-top box is compliant, Go to the menu, press menu on the box and we're going to go into um, advanced installation, press OK, the password will be six zeros probably. Um, what are we? One, three, four, five, six, yes, six zeros. And in here we're going to try to get onto the right hand side then take that down to TP setup press OK on that in here we're going to want to add you see that little green green light there there is a green um, button on the 
on the S uh, remote control and I'm going to press that to add a transponder. So we press that and now we're going to get it across on that side so I can put in some numbers and using the numbers on the actual remote, these numbers up here, we're going to punch in what they want which is 1, 2, 5, 8, 1. That's the new transponder to bring down MPEG-4 videos for Trinity Broadcasting. The symbol rate is 22500. 22500. And it, it says it's already there. Uh, Alright, so we'll see if it'll draw down something in a minute. Go down to these till I find the one I put in there. 1, 2, 581. Um, now start the scan on that. This is the scanning down. Okay, so you can't see Trinity Broadcasting coming in there because they are only broadcasting in MPEG-4. So we exit out of there. Waiting. Now we go exit out of there. In the menu. We go back to C, exit out of there again, exit out of there, exit out of there. And we, now we we'll go up the channels and see what we've got. Um, well, the quicker might, way might be to go down them. So we go down here to see if we can find the new TBN channel. And we can't see it coming through. There's a few channels there, but there's the old TBN channel uh, with a star next to it. Um, SBN, uh, we can't find the new TBN or youth channels coming through. There's the old JCTV with a star next to it, but it's not the new one. And that'll go off the air on the 1st of September. Um, Your TV's there, um, going through them. A star's there. Church TV, that's the old church one, but it's going to go off air on the 1st of September. There'll be none of that, and we haven't got the new one. We tried to scan it down on that transponder, but it didn't come. So there you go. No TBN on this set-top box because it's not compliant, it's not a DVBS. So that's the story. So I hope we've helped you and uh, I suggest you buy a new one and keep up with the times. God bless you now, bye.